Welcome to the Unraid December Digest. I'm your host, Stefano Partita, and we'll be discussing all the things that happened during December of 2024 for Unraid. Let's get started. Unraid 7 Release Candidate 2 was released, and it comes with a whole laundry list of updates, improvements, and bug fixes, some of which are ZFS support, tail scale integration, VM management improvements for cloning and snapshots, the optionality of a Unraid array, enhancements to the web UI, fixes to excessive flash drive activity, fixes for single XFS pools created before 6.12, that fail to import to RC1 and RC2, another fix for XFS disks that don't have an XFS signature, so they don't mount an RC2, fixes for allocation methods not showing when editing a share, and just so, so many more small improvements that you can find in Release Candidate 2. So those are very welcome to see. Now, if this is any kind of signaling, I think that the Unraid version 7 will release any day now, probably within the next couple of days, if not immediately after this video gets posted or shortly after this video gets posted online. Perhaps one of the most exciting features of Unraid 7 is the fact that Tailscale is now integrated in the operating system. And to couple with that release, we have a video available that is a comprehensive guide to pretty much everything you may need to know when it comes to integrate the integration of Tailscale into the operating system. You can expect to find information about travel routers, Docker integration, SSH between tail scale nodes, exit nodes, and all sorts of other information that will probably be convenient or just that you may not have even thought of yourself. Furthermore, there's also ways that you can use tail scale to connect two Unraid servers together. So that way, if you have a friend that wants to store stuff on your Unraid server, they can actually save their information on your Unraid server and it be completely encrypted and segregated from your data. So that way you don't have access to their stuff and they don't have access to your stuff, which is pretty cool. So definitely check out the Unraid video, and there are other videos that have been released on Space Invader 1's channel talking about sharing two servers, uh, or sharing data between two servers using Tailscale as well. And there'll be links in the video description for both of those in the comments below. In effort to make this video shorter than the previous video, I just want to talk about some of the community content you can find around the web. The first of which is a video from Space Invader 1 and myself where we show you how we shared backups between both of our Unraid servers using Tailscale securely, we have a video from LCA Digital Media that shows us his dedicated OBS NDI recorder build that uses Unraid OS. We have a video from Raul Lee who goes into great detail about his backup NAS that will have a 80 terabyte capacity. And then there's another video from Space Invader 1 who shows us a little bit about Unraid container networking and gluten VPN. And I think that pretty much wraps up this video. So thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you all next time on the next Unraid Digest Show. Peace.